Hey everybody, thanks for stopping back in with ChallengeYourself.blog. In today's episode, I'd like to go over the updates uh, I have on the robot project I've been working on. In the last episode, I had a an update where I was covering how I hooked up the mechanical part of the, the robot together. In this episode, now I've actually got a couple of the stepper motors uh, working together uh, in in sequence. I bought these ULN 2003 stepper motors from Elegoo on Amazon. They were about $14-ish. Uh, As you can see here, this is the packaging that the five stepper motors came in. Uh, each one is individually uh, wrapped, which uh, you know adds to the protection uh, of the board. So there's five in a pack. Um, I really like the the packaging. It's a, a really nice, uh, sturdy case that it came in. It included the little um, driver uh, boards. There were some wires in there. Um, it, it's a, a nice little, nice little package of uh, components. Uh, when you look at the board, you can see that there's uh, the in uh, one through seven. Uh, there's on the other side the out. Uh, you can see. There's four LEDs for troubleshooting. Uh, that's very important, and I'll cover that a little bit further uh, down the line. And you have your jumper pins, which um, I'll also cover that a little bit further into the video. So what you're seeing here is the stepper motor hooked up to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's a clothespin attached to it, and the reason I did that was just so that you could see the, the rotation of the motor shaft. It's kind of important to be able to see because it, it's a little bit uh, tough depending on you know how good your eyesight is and how uh, how well lit your your work area is but if you put something on there uh, like that it'll make it a lot easier to to see uh, how fast it's rotating if it's going forward or backwards or if it's not moving at all which um, you know it could indicate different problems whether it's something to do with your schematic if there's something that's wrong with the uh, the programming in this case it's python after i'd hooked up that stepper motor and got it successfully working i moved on to another assembly that i'm working on you, you'll notice that in the video i have this hooked up to a breadboard and some people say oh you only have one motor hooked up why would you use a, a breadboard for that well i intend on having multiple motors hooked up uh down the road so that that kind of you know plays into uh, the future of the project one of the things that's very important uh when you're looking at the adafruit instructions they call out a five pin unipolar stepper motor only and that has to do with the uh, wiring and, and schematic uh, specifically. Uh, one of the other interesting things about this project, uh, I, as I was looking online at some of the Arduino and uh, Adafruit uh, examples, it seemed like a lot of people were saying that the 5 volt uh, power source is n not adequate for running these stepper motors. After I stumbled onto a one particular like little uh, blurb in the middle of a forum somewhere. Uh, someone had uh, used a resistor and connected the pin two and four on the little controller board and once that got connected uh, a lot of the jitteriness and issues that I was having all went away. I still had some problems uh, with the motor turning in, in one direction only. Uh, and that came down to some of the coding. So when I when I'm looking at how the the microcontroller is uh, set up, you have those little LED lights that I mentioned earlier in the video. When here's another aspect that uh, I'm going to take a step back. The instructions and most of the documentation just say that the LEDs are for troubleshooting, but they don't actually really spell it out for someone, a beginner, you know, like myself, uh, that it doesn't have a lot of experience with this. So I'm like, well, how is this, you know, set up for a, a beginner? Uh, because the lights were blinking so fast. Well, then I realized that the delay uh, that they have set up in there, you, you type in a number and um, 
the lights blink extremely fast, but if you adjust that uh, and increase the uh, delay time, you can actually see uh, in the video that the lights start to blink in a certain sequence. Well then, uh, what I noticed was that it ran properly going forward, but when it was supposed to go backwards, the numbers uh, in the code were making it go like two, four, uh, like one and three and two and four uh, back and forth and the motor was going crazy and wasn't doing what it was supposed to and then sometimes it was going backwards and I, I was really scratching my head uh, so when I started kind of going through the sequence uh, it it's made itself apparent and slowing the lights down make a huge difference something else that I came across and found a little bit of confusion uh, but I, it worked itself out was a lot of instructions cover the ULN 2803 uh, but this kit was a ULN 2003. The difference between the two uh, is basically one has eight pins, the other one has seven pins. Uh, the ULN 2003 has seven pins. And the ULN 2003 uses something called a Darlington array, and that, that's the way that the logic uh, opens and closes the, the circuits. That's kind of the boiled down version. Uh, in my blog, I'll post some links to a couple of uh, websites that cover the difference between, between the two. I'll also cover uh, some of the uh, links for you know where I bought the stuff, the uh, supplier names, how much they cost. Um, I'm going back through my uh, Amazon history. I, I tend to buy a lot of my stuff through Amazon. Occasionally I'll buy through uh, a direct vendor. Um, I just bought some shaft collars uh, today and those are coming directly from the manufacturer. Um, but most of the stuff I, I get through Amazon, Adafruit also, uh, they're, they're really good. Uh, I, they have a wide array of uh, stuff on there and the pricing is uh, very good. Their support uh, seems to be pretty good. I've, had, I've seen a lot of good comments online, so uh, highly recommended. So one of the other uh, things to, uh, as a word of caution when you're doing a project like this, in the uh, Adafruit instructions, they point out very you know, cautiously to pay attention to the wire colors coming out of the motor and not the um, arrangement, you know, you know, if it was white, orange, red, and on the schematic, and they're coming out at, in a different order that you need to go by what the color of the wire is because they're all the same, um, whether you're buying from one brand or another, that there's a specific reason for, for the coloring. And um, that proved to be true. Uh, so be, be careful when you're wiring these things to that you're following uh, the color of the wire and that they are in fact all the same. It, it can be very, easy to unwittingly make a you know switch a wire back and forth uh, and then when your motor isn't working you'll be really confused scratching your head so just a, a thing to you know keep in mind so as i go through this journey I, what i'm going to try to do in in my future videos is to try to go through some of the stumbling blocks that i've uh, come across i imagine there's a lot of uh, beginners that are getting into electronics and they don't know exactly where to start. Um, maybe we can kind of share some of our, uh, our pitfalls and stumbling blocks so that we can all learn together. This is one of the things that I've always wanted to do. I didn't know how to get into it. Uh, I was fortunate that uh, a couple of former colleagues of mine uh, we're really big into this stuff and I, I text them every now and then and say, hey, you know, what about this? And um, it, it's, it's been a, a wonderful experience. I would highly recommend if you have kids that this is like one of the greatest things to, you know, get them into technology and to work on uh, together. Um, your 
possibilities of what you can do is, is literally endless. I want to go back and, and cover some of the mechanical stuff with the gearing on that because I've only got the gearing kind of partially um, put together at this point. I'm going to go back, redo the, the gearing uh, so that I can get uh, all of the stepper motors uh, synchronized and all uh, attached to the, the Raspberry Pi. You can see I have the wires hooked up to the first uh, 20 or so pins on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the rest of the motors will uh, fill up probably the rest of, of that uh, that 40 pins on the Pi. This has been a lot of fun bringing this to life. I, I recommend anybody that has ever had an interest in doing this, dive in, do it. Um, ask questions. There are a lot of people out there. Uh, send me an, an email or something. I'd uh, be glad to try to help you know as best I can. Uh, I'm not a programmer by trade, but uh, as I learn different things and whatnot, it, it, it all comes from experience, and the best way to do it is dive in head first. They have all kinds of uh, different sensors, a whole array of different things that you can use. I have another kit from Elegoo, and I'll, I'll cover that later. I have it in front of me. That's why I'm looking down. But uh, in this kit, they have all kinds of uh, different types of sensors. There's temperature. There's humidity. Um, they have motion sensors. Uh, they even have, uh, I have it set off to the side, uh, this um keypad you know if you go to a hotel and you look at like the little uh, safe box that they have it's all pretty much the same exact thing for you know typing in a, a, a code for a safe it, and it was pretty inexpensive it was uh, I had a little pet project that I was uh, you know working on and when I started working on the robotics I set that one off to the side so uh, but it you know, we'll dig into this. Uh, we'll get you know, a little bit further along and, you know, I welcome as many comments and questions and stuff. If uh, if you're not wanting to do it through uh, YouTube, uh, send me an email at mike.bemis at challengeyourself.blog. Uh, go to my blog. Uh, you can send a, you know, a contact, uh, you know, you can contact me through uh, the website. There's a, a form there uh, that, you know, works really well. And, uh, you know, let's let's everybody learn together. Uh, we'll have a blast doing it, and this is going to be great. So thanks again for stopping in. Uh, appreciate, you know, everybody's support. And if uh, you liked what you saw and you want to see more content, please click the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, and, and share this video uh, with your friends and family. Uh, again, I appreciate all the support. Talk to you soon.